Hey guys, welcome back to part 2 of my drill press series. Today I'm going to show off the table and attachments I've made so far, and talk about some of the other changes I've made to the project. First, the table, a pretty important part of the press. The table itself is made of two pieces, one 3D printed base and one aluminium plate. The plate is 101.6mm by 107mm by 1.6mm and has four holes drilled into the corners. I use the 3D printed piece as a template to drill these holes. The 3D printed parts align with the bottom of the press and it is then screwed to the wooden base, keeping it secure and square. I use the press to drill the center hole to ensure that it is centered relative to the drill. Overall it's a pretty simple setup, but it does the job. Next I'd like to show off one of the first add-ons I've designed. I would like for this press to be modular, with many different attachments to achieve different tasks. These V's are the first example. They allow for round stock to be quickly centred under the press. They bolt to these holes on each side of the table. A pretty simple attachment, but it does the job. A final upgrade I've made since the last video is to the main spindle pulley. I was having trouble with slipping, so I've made it a larger diameter to increase surface area, as well as adding teeth to grip the belt better. This has definitely improved the potential power of the press, and I haven't been getting slipping issues anymore. I've also added a grub screw to keep the pulley from coming off. And finally, what do I plan to do next? Firstly, a vice of some type. Pretty self-explanatory. Along with this, potentially a cross-slide setup for basic milling operations. This may be a bit ambitious, but I'm going to experiment with it anyways. I'd also like to redesign the V's to cover the entire table, for use with shorter stock. That'll be done for next week's update, probably. I also will be making a build video for what I've done so far, since at the moment it's a perfectly functional drill press. Future upgrades are all optional. Um, anyways, that's all for today, thank you as always for watching. Uh, if you enjoy this content or this project and want to keep updated, uh, maybe consider subscribing. Um, it's a great indication that I'm doing something right. Thanks for watching, and hopefully see you in the next one.